Hello everybody, this is Saber Wolf with another video for you. Now, before I went over some professions with you and my uh, tips for new players, uh, some of those professions included Warrior, Ranger, and Dervish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over each of the professions in the game, all eight of them, and uh, try to get you maybe to try a new profession out that you've been thinking about doing but didn't really know much about, and just to have more fun in the game. I'm going to start with obviously Warrior. This is going to be a Warrior right in front of us. Uh, this is actually my primary profession. This uh, guy I've actually beaten all the games with, got several titles with. I played GVG, Frontline, Shock Axe, stuff like that. Um, so basically, for Warriors, I'm going to start with the attributes. The primary attributes uh, for Warrior are Strength, Tactics, Swordsmanship, Axe, and Hammer. Uh, strength is their particular primary attribute that's their own personal attribute that other professions can't use. Uh, this actually raises your damage output with your skills and gives you armor penetration, making your melee attacks hit deeper, I guess, into the armor, so to speak, causing more damage. Um, also, the tactics line. Uh, this is your basically your stance's defensive um, self-healing with healing signet. Uh, that's pretty much that attribute line. Axe Mastery, I'll go over what axes do in a little bit, along with uh, swords and hammers at the end. So now we're going to go over those uh, weapons I just mentioned, the axe, swords, and uh, hammer. Now first off is the axe. Axes are popular actually in PvP for their uh, higher uh, damage rate uh, their damage rate is uh, 6 to 28. They have a low end damage of 6 and a higher end damage of 28. It's pretty much like a balance there. Axes actually have a higher chance to critical, so the axe, when you get to that 28, you have a higher chance of getting to that 28 than normal. Um, these are popular, like I said, in PvP for their uh, deep wound, and which helps with uh, spiking down targets when you're a frontline person. Uh, the second one, which is actually my particular uh, favorite, which is sword. Now swords uh, do 15 to 22 damage. These actually have a more consistent damage, this is why I like them. Axes, 6 to 28, you have a lower low end and a higher high end, which means you have a wider range of getting damage, plus with a 6 on the low end, you actually have a chance of doing uh, very, very little damage to your target. With sword, you actually have a more consistent damage. Yes, you can't get that higher end damage like you can with the axe, but your lower end is more than double what an axe would be. So that's why I prefer sword for the damage aspect. aspect. Um, other people, uh, particularly in PvP, like sword for their conditions because of the bleeding, deep wound, crippling, uh, like that. Um, so that's what sword is actually particularly used is more for conditions than damage, but preferably me, I like the damage for being consistent. Last but not least is the hammer. Now, hammers are generally used for knockdown. Uh, this can hold the target down on the ground for several seconds, and warriors actually can have um, a special signet to lengthen that knockdown time. Two, three, maybe even four seconds. Um, so, generally for hammer warriors, they actually do have a pretty high end damage. Um, again, 19 to 35, so these can do very, very high damage. But in most aspects, they're generally used for the knockdown, and they can deep wound much like the axes can. Uh, next thing about warriors is their armor. Basically, they have a higher armor level than all the other professions, um, except Paragon. Paragon also have 80 armor. However, the warrior actually has, um, part of their armor is that they have a higher defense against physical. Um, so that makes them uh, have use for tanking, being in the front line, taking a lot of the aggro and damage like that, which is pretty much what the warrior is used for. They're pretty much used for um, pulling most of your uh, enemy on top of you, and cold kissing the damage on you because you can take the pressure better than some of your mesmers, elementalists, and ritualists like them out there who have a lower armor of 60. Um, last but not least, uh, some good secondary professions for a warrior. I suggest a ranger. There's a lot of windowless survival ranger skills for stances and uh, 
and uh, patrol agent and like that. Uh, some like to use pets also. Um, I also suggest if you go elementalist, use the conjure, fire, frost, and uh, lightning. Uh, for dervishes, pretty much dervs uh, for the uh, scythe use, uh, assassins for the dagger use because you're a melee based character, and finally but not least, paragon. Paragon warrior are hand in hand with all their adrenaline skills and like that. Uh, also para for spear, not necessarily a melee weapon, but it's about as close to a melee weapon, uh, closest non-melee weapon that you have in the game. And generally those builds are called torrents because you stand there in one place and you can shoot your uh, shoot your spear rather uh, very quickly. Well, I hope uh, this, if you haven't tried a warrior out, I hope this will get you to try a warrior out. And as always, uh, enjoy, and I will talk to you later.